All right, guys, welcome. So I know there's probably a lot of questions on what exactly is this update this man is talking about. Um, so to break it down for you guys, uh, we just had update 36 that came. It was a big, oh, it was a quality of life update, had a bunch of new changes in it. Um, now this update here is go on ptr it's currently on the ptr so if you own the game on steam you can actually go try this out yourself right now but to give you a little rundown quickly on what it is um i'll give it one sec uh to give you a quick rundown uh on what it is is they are, are making the curveball system uh a bit more adjustable like you can make things easier you can make things harder now um you can turn off curveballs completely from this menu you can um turn on all good curveballs you can turn on all bad curveballs there's a bunch of different things i'm actually going to go and i'll show you guys the the sliders and all that now the problem is is i wanted to do a playthrough so this is also a showcase for the new update we're going to be showing you guys you know what's coming but i also wanted to see if i could beat the game at its hardest now we're gonna what i'm saying is a lethal zone playthrough with only negative curveballs running continuously because that's another thing is you can change the frequency of curveballs you can have them the normal frequency you can have them very frequent or you can have it to where you always have curveballs running no matter what so that's going to be rough guys because you imagine three curveballs all negative running at all times um it, it's going to be rough and then you can also now tweak the intensity of said curveballs making them very very difficult so where you know they were hard before you can make every curveball in the game even harder by making the intensity of it or you can do the exact opposite you can make this whole entire system really really easy but we're not doing that yet you know me we're going to start a playthrough we're going to go ahead and try to beat the game on lethal all negative curveballs as hard as it could possibly go running consistently fresh community no boons to to top it all off guys i am going to run three survivors no good traits no fifth skills and we're gonna see how we do guys we're, we're gonna see how we do all right but um I'm going to start this community up because I know that uh, I, I got these guys all set up earlier. That way we didn't have to worry about it. Um, but let's let's get it. Now, I have been sitting on the screen for a while, so it could very well be nighttime when we fire this up. But uh, we're going to get in. I'm going to I'm going to secure the base. And then because this is a fresh community, curveballs don't kick in right away. You have to wait a couple days. We are on Trouble Valley. Yes, um, you got to wait a couple in-game days or in-game day or so. I think it was about a day in game before the curveballs popped. So give us a little time to go around and loot. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So once we get in, I'm going to go. I'm going to claim the base and then I'm going to hop on in another community real quick just to showcase the sliders so you guys can see them um, right now. And then we'll come back to this community and continue playing. So uh, trigger mortis with the gifted. I appreciate the love. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. Remember, if you guys do want to see more of this playthrough, smash that like button, subscribe, drop comments, all that stuff. To let me know that you guys want to see more. And uh, let's, let's let's do this. Hopefully it's not pitch black. Nope, it's not. <clears throat> Definitely looks like and the morning. Empty. Again. So whose turn is it to find more fuel? Okay, so real quick, we're gonna check. So, okay, so we got two bags of meds to start with, which is not bad. There's actually quite a few zombies in front of the base. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had this screen going because I had... Ho I Remember how we talked about it before? When you roll sur survivors, time actually moves in-game, which is really, really weird. So I let this sit for hours, guys, hoping that maybe that would help really trigger the curveballs faster. But I don't think it's going to work. But we'll see. We'll Back see. Before the world went to shit, I had a night when my house burned. Did I ever tell you about that? You know, these days we can't get attached but back then losing your home was almost like losing a family member because that's a lot of spawns actually a lot more than i'm used to in this area got a horde down here to our left this is 
Uh, we're gonna go back side of the base because this is gonna turn shitty. I can see it already. Uh, yeah, I don't want to engage that horde. Plus, there's probably another horde's worth of zombies. So, um, just so you guys know, this also includes spawning changes for zombies. They're, they're changing the way that zombies spawn. They said that we're going to start seeing more zombies in the map, which is probably what we're seeing right here. Um, as you can see, there's I've never seen this many zombies at the starter base. Um, there's going to be areas of the map now urban areas, cities and things like that, that are going to be highly congested with zombies. And then, you know, some of your rural areas will have less zombies. And they also said that we can now, if you, if you start clearing an area, you'll actually feel like you cleared the area a bit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like you actually put a dent in the zombies where before you could clear an area, walk out, turn around, come right back and all the zombies will respawn. Um, I guess it's not going to be like that. So we'll see. Now we're gonna be making some noise in here, obviously. Made it. Getting started. Yeah, we could jump the fence here without making noise. Careful, still a few zombies here. Zeds are coming this way. We're on all sides now. <laughs> all that's left to do now is okay. claim this place as ours. Then we can start fixing it up. <sighs> yeah, farm in the middle of nowhere is probably way better now. Our we'll see. Has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. Okay. Some scouting. Then find something useful. As you guys can see, curveballs are not active yet. We slept, but we are running full, full lethal. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for those to kick in. But like I promised, before we really dig into this playthrough i want to showcase the sliders that way you guys can see it if you guys aren't going to be you know here until they pop um i just want to show you guys how they can be adjusted so quickly i'll go on to this community here d how you doing oh we're doing good d we're doing good it's so good to see you i hope everything is good <clears throat> uh pwt with the five gifted thank you so much everybody receives one of those memberships welcome to the fam i do not want to let that screamer bring friends <sighs> all right so curveballs now uh back when you wanted to turn curveballs off there used to be a setting in here that you had to go and turn off it's no longer like that guys now what you do is you actually go to the curveball setting here and um if you see down on the other side over there below it says toggle curveball settings so you hit that button and it brings up this new curveball settings so menu gross. you can turn them off completely which shuts everything off so you won't have curveballs at all um or no this uh turns off the 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 uh customization my bad um it says so if you want everything to just stay um vanilla you turn this off that that's what it is but if you want to customize it you come here so now you have frequency so you can control the time between curveballs you can have them never show up this is how you turn them off and now at this point you'll never have curveballs ever on your on your playthrough you can have them be infrequent regular which is the balance default one that we're used to frequent which means they'll show up very very often and then you have continual means curveballs will appear continuously they'll always be up guys always so obviously you know when our curveball thing goes live we're going to be playing continuous now you can do balance to decide whether you would like to experience more positive or more negative curveballs so you can have positive only you can have more positive balanced more negative or negative only so you guys know we're going continual negative only okay so no positive curveballs and then you can impact adjust the intensity of the curveballs choose to adjust positive and negative uh separate so um positive because we don't have those on uh we don't have to worry about that now negative traits you could do default which is normal you can make them strong which means they'll be harder or you can make them very strong and that's where we're going chat we're going very strong 
hardest possible playthrough lethal zone this is gonna be a good time so yeah this is the new uh big customization uh i'm excited to see how many black play cards we can get on the map at one time <laughs> Oh, it's going to be brutal, guys. It's going to be brutal. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So let's get back over. And uh, wish me luck on this, guys. Wish me luck on this. I feel like it's going to be it's going to be pretty brutal. But we do got a little. Damn it. I, got, I just I always do that. Um, I, we will have a little bit of time, hopefully. I'm hoping at least a day or two before the curveballs pop, because as soon as they pop, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, so I would like to at least get the the base situated, get um, you know our resources, everything like that going before that that pops up. Because if not, it's gonna get it's gonna get rough. Uh, Mogan, what's going on? Uh, John, I'm glad. Hey, so many of you guys saying how much you enjoy the uh, the State of Decay content. I'm really, really glad. Hopefully, um, you guys have fun with this. Uh, so I couldn't show in the new community, uh, Kalo, because it takes a day or two for the cur curveballs to actually come up in a brand new community. Um, so as you can see right now, if I go in the brand new community, the curveball option doesn't exist yet. Materials. We'll need them to improve this place. Uh, you got to kind of make it through the onboard. All right, so let's switch to this. Deposit this. See, I see what's going on. Yeah, I went and got my hair cut the other day. I've been meaning to, but been busy lately. So all of my survivors actually had shitty backpacks, dude. That's kind of sucks. I think she had a seven slot, right? All right. So first things first, uh, we're gonna go over to this location. I'm gonna try to get myself a, or, or right across the water here. There's a uh, uh, army outpost. We can get our hands on a ranged weapon. Oh. See an infected feral. Yep, she only has a six slot too. So we already got a plague feral. Where is it? It's down by the down by the river. So I did see a screamer, Osgur with a 37 months. Holy crap. Thank you so much. All right. Good thing it's not preluded. All right. Yep. Uh, where is it? Yep. There it is. It's facing away. So we'll actually take care of it. Um, I think Batman I might do tomorrow. I think that's when I planned on doing it. I wanted to let you know we've had a couple more communities settle down here in Trumbull Valley. They seem like good folks. Thanks, Ray. Okay, weapon remains. People are coming back to the valley. Gotta make sure we get that going. I count on you to keep an eye on Trumbull for me. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, check this out. I mean, not it. It is all right. I'll take a shotgun. Ten rounds too, man. That, that this actually is probably one of the most, the higher capacity shotguns besides those like specialized drum shotguns. Heavy duty ammo press, more shells. All right, not a bad haul, guys. Not a bad bad haul at all. Um, inventory's already full. Then we only got a little six slot, so. We're going to go get some fuel uh, repair kit from the auto shop, get our car operational, and then we'll be we'll be good to start moving around. I do not like where this is headed. But as for firearms, I mean, I guess a shotgun is better than nothing. 
We did start. We got a lot of bullets right off the bat, man. That, that is actually a lot of bullets. He has a seven slot. So we're going to take his seven, throw it on. No, this is not. This is different than update 36, guys. So uh, for those of you, I'll, I'll mention it one more time because I know more of you guys are coming in. I'll probably mention it, periodically mention it. This update is not update 36. This is the new PTR build, which uh, has the new zombie spawning system in it. And it also has the adjustable curveballs where you can make negative only curveballs. You can increase the intensity of the curveballs. Um, yeah, you can make the game very, very hard. Now, so this is like people who wanted more difficulty, uh, you know, we're kind of running through lethal zone or even if you didn't quite like lethal, but you wanted to make like nightmare or something like that harder. Um, spicing things up with the curveballs. Uh, you, here you go. Because uh, me personally, I really enjoyed the negative curveballs. Wasn't a huge fan of the positive curveballs because I don't really like things that make the game easier. And I felt like there was quite an imbalance with the curveball system. A lot of the curveballs made things very, very easy. Um, so to have that option to turn off those easy curveballs or the, the good curveballs and have only bad ones, and then to make the bad ones really, really hard, it's going to be nice. So they reworked the zombie spawn system. Um, we'll see more zombies in urban areas, less zombies in rural areas. And the way they, they explained it is you're going to be able to, like if you go to an air, a town, right, and you kill all the zombies in the town, they wanted to make it feel like you actually made an impact on the zombie population. So if I go and I kill 100 zombies in town, turn around and walk out of town, what used to happen is you'd come back, all the zombies you just spent 20 minutes killing would be back. So it was like, what the hell? A really, really bad feeling. Um, and they changed, I guess, this new system. We haven't really seen it yet, but you're going to be able to, like, okay, this place checks out. Zombie free. whittle away at the population of zombies, and then they actually stay gone for a while. Like, it'll feel like you actually, you know, hey, I go back into town 10 minutes later, and they, they, the zombies are still gone. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's going to have that feeling. And then they said, it'll be, you know, it'll be a little while before the zombies, you know, repopulate, they move back in. Like, for instance, like, I just cleared through this area. If this was before, the, this already would be repopulated with zombies. By the time I would turn around and walk back, the zombies would already be back. I'm not saying that they won't. Uh, but there's been so many times I'd clear my way here, I'd loot this area, I'd head back to base, and by the time I get back to that outpost, there's uh, more zombies. Almost always. A scream around the side of the wall there. Talonvar, hey, you have a great day. Uh, Anthony with the super chat, man. Already um, started a fresh player with the world. Um, I bring one people from we'll ramp up. No, so if you're doing fresh with rolled, Anthony, there's it, it won't ramp up. That's no, um, heavy. or it will ramp. Yeah, it won't. It won't start at. Um, it won't start super hard. So it, it, you'll start low, and yeah, you'll 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 ramp up over time. The only time the game doesn't ramp is if you take a, an already existing community and then just go like swap maps or switch to lethal zone that's when um the difficulty doesn't ramp but no the way you're doing it you'll be fine the game will ramp up and mr wilhelm with this huge super chat man thanks for uh scratching the challenge stream it's uh good luck i appreciate it i hope you enjoy it but as you guys can see yeah no zombies respawned so already uh, uh, you can i can definitely tell a difference in the uh the spawn changes now some people might consider that easy um 
at this stage of the game, it might seem it, but once the spawn rates pick up later on, I don't feel like it really will be like a, da a negative. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a change. I, I don't. I don't mind the change personally. Sometimes I think about taking up golf. I think I dislike the you know zombies populating out of fresh air over and over again. Uh, I dislike that more than, you know, maybe after I cleared an area, there being less zombies around. Marshall's going to be very scary. Yeah, I can't even imagine what that's going to look like. Okay, so sun's going to be going down here soon. I wanted to hit these material site, and I want to hit these camp sites over here. Try to see if we can get our hands on a crossbow. Um, so one of the things they also changed that they I remember from the stream they were talking about is the way search crashes work now. Search crashes used to spawn zombies in, um, and now they kind of made it so where. To where they only it only attracts zombies in the immediate area. So um, if you take the time to clear out an area, you can now go ahead and fast search if you want to. So Building's clear. No, we could get some goodies out of there too, so. Nah, no news on State of Decay 3, guys. Trust me, if there was any State of Decay 3 news, I'd be we'd be talking about it. It'd be awesome if we hear something, you know, at the Xbox showcase this okay. year. We need to I, believe, I believe it's like every June they do it. For, I know for the past two years we've been uh, hoping and praying. If there was ever going to be a year, hopefully it's this one, right? Uh, so, yeah, I, I, if you guys want... Bounty Broker. Uh, yeah, if you always ex ever want to, you know, expect like when we can hear something for State of K three, June probably. But yeah, every year, you know, we 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 hold out for that showcase. We get super excited, and then we're 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 let down every time. But yeah, it is what it is. Ooh, didn't fully clear this place. Release will be. Hey, I'm fine with the release being in 2025. I, I told people before, like, I don't mind games having a long development cycle because the longer the development, the better the game for the most part. Like, I would rather have State of Decay be a five-year develop game than a two, three-year develop game. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be garbage, you know? If, if, if the State of Decay 3 I want, you know what I mean? Uh, at least me, the state of the K K3 I dream about, the game I hope it is, is not a game that can just be made in two, three years, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Looks like, good. No more zombies. And if they were, if the game was going to be made in two or three years, it's not going to be the game that everybody wants it to be. I'm telling you now, like it's just, that's just how it works. You know what I mean? So, I definitely take as long as they fucking need to make it. You know what I mean? Because I want it to be this the game that we all are expecting. Uh, because they rushed State of Decay 2, and look what that did to the game. The devs le learned a lesson from that, you know what I mean? They, A, a lot of people, if, if you go ask like mainstream about State of Decay 2, um, 
you ask people, hey, man, what are your thoughts on State of Decay 2? They're like, oh, that game's garbage, man. It's so boring. Like, yeah, it's the first one's way better than... And you're like, what? And they they vote they only played it when it first came out because when State of K two first came out it was very bare bones they didn't even have difficulties it was just one difficulty that was it and um, over the years the game has become top tier you know what I mean but yeah if you compare State of K two when it first came out compared to now two different games you know what I mean Com two completely different games. Um, so I'm gonna get this stuff. I should actually go out and get another bag of mats, actually, before we do this. Ooh, there's a horde over here. Uh, Andrew, with the two months, man, thank you so much. Uh, there should be a mod for all black hearts. Yo, that'd be insane, dude. I haven't watched Fallout yet. No, no, not yet. Nine years. They've only been working on the game since 2019. Yeah, 20, no, 2020 is when they started working on it. So it's only been a few years. They haven't been working on the game. They, they, it, the game was in pre-production in 2019. Um, State of K 2 released in 2018. Yeah, they haven't, they weren't working on State of K 3 in 2018. I can, I can, I, I know that for a fact, guys. <laughs> Pre-production for State of Decay 2 started, I believe it was 2020. And, I, and when we say pre-production, we're talking like they're they're writing down ideas on pieces of paper. Hi, this is Lily Ritter, reaching out to all the new additions to our Trumbull family. Before I started the network, I lived in Trumbull. So, as long as I'm around, that valley will always have someone there to watch out for you. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out food quick. Um, friend, Raymundo Santos. If you need help, Ray is the guy to see. I'm going to go hit these campsites real quick, and then we're going to go try to figure out this food situation. Don't be modest, Ray. I can't imagine a Trumbull Valley without you there keeping watch. We'll go around. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky, guys. Get a bigger backpack. Get a crossbow. Not it. But again, Chris, thank you again for the membership. I appreciate the love. Ah, oh, D, I hope things get better. Seriously. Oh, okay. I'm glad I could be here, you know, to help you through a rough time. Seriously. We'll just go up this way. Really, dude? Anthony with the super chat, man. Apologize for ragging on your driving, bro. Been wrecking every vehicle I get. There should be a tow truck. <laughs> nah, dude. Listen, man. It's all good, dude. I drive. I drive well when I need to. You know what I mean? That's one thing people can't deny. Is when I need to drive well, I drive all right. Oh, 
my. Thank you. The state of decay gods. They heard my pleads, guys. They're, they're, they're going to make this an easy, easy playthrough. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm underestimating how hard this is going to be. What was the name of the game that did horrible on release? Uh, I, I don't know. What game are you talking about, G Bell? Uh, we're talking about State of K2. State of, uh, State of K2 wasn't horrible on release. Um, it was just boring. Like, once you did your first playthrough, um, I didn't even finish doing all the legacies because they were. Oh, wow. Seriously? Red Talon? Um, I ended up doing like three of the four legacies because I was just over it. The game was so easy. Okay, so the screamer we're going to have to nail with the crossbow. Notch and a half. Bloaters we can just lure. Lure them this way. Screamer up two. Yeah, so once curveballs are available, just so you guys know, we're gonna be they're they're gonna be it's gonna be rough. I'm excited to see how rough continual really is. Just non-stop negative curveballs. I, I honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't think I'm gonna even be able to beat this. Just so you guys know, I don't I don't think I'll be able to beat it. Now this vehicle here was like. Man, what is going on, chat? We're talking about some streamer luck here for sure. I haven't seen one of these vehicles in forever. I love these. How many slots does this have, too? Nine slots? Damn. I wish we would have freaking used a repair kit and gas on that. We'll get another repair kit, though. We're going to get that one back to base. Can you set it to get a black? Well, the thing is, you can't set necessarily to get a black play cart. But what, now it is when when curveballs were initially introduced, they compete. The the positive and negative curveballs compete with each other. On top of the fact that they had a timer, uh, you know, an, uh, an arbitrary timer that they were on, that they had to wait before another curveball can be activated. So you'd have moments where you'd get a positive curveball, then you might get a negative curveball, then you'd get another positive. Then you get another positive, and then you might get a neck, you know what I mean? And they, and they were still, they were super, super spread out, um, and you never knew what you were going to get, positive or negative. So with both of them competing for the same space, it was it was up in the air whether you were going to get negative curveballs, you know what I mean? Or the black play card. So now having curveballs just always on, like always having curveballs, like because there's no timer anymore, I will always have three curveballs running simultaneously. Um... And now I'm running only negative ones. The chances of getting all the negative curveballs over and over again is going to be very, very high. Uh, D, I really appreciate you. Seriously, thank you so much. Oh, the day before. Yeah, yeah, we, we played the day before a little bit. Yeah, that game was... I mean, I don't. it was, it was all right. It definitely wasn't great by any means. Uh, so before we do this quest here, we're going to go here... I'm going to try to get more materials because I'm, we need at least two rucks. Um, but as you guys can see, there's screamers, bloaters over there. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be plague territory. So we're just going to have to watch ourselves. Oh, dragons. Could you imagine those like, yeah, like the, where your people get sick? Curveballs or you need the materials? Or like the bandits? Um, this is going to be rough. I, I don't even think it's going to be possible. I think we're... And, and on top of that, I... I made the intensity of that curveball, the curveballs harder. So it might be more than three ruck sacks now. Mm. There's a red 
and gooey. Gotta mean a plague heart is nearby. And probably plague zombies too. <laughs> I, so listen, you got to remember, Brian, I didn't, when I played the day before, I knew the game wasn't going to be that good. Uh, so I went in with very, very low expectations and the game was about what I expected. I expected it to be pretty, pretty not good. And, uh, but I had, I did have fun. I did have fun playing it. So we just need to get in here before the Enclave moves over. Because once the enclave moves in, you're not you're not getting the resources out of this shed. Yeah, I heard about the Fallout 4 upgrade. Yep. So just let them move. I'm not even gonna waste my time fighting them or resources. That military site's preloaded this time, so. I don't hear any zombies. But in plague territory, I'd say the day before less. on a scale of one to ten, guys, like realistically, it was probably. It was probably like a three. Maybe maybe like a two and a half. It was probably probably like a because the, the the worst part about it was it was a zombie game with no zombies. Like, I definitely think Kong was worse. Anybody else think we weren't supposed to hear that? You think a three is generous? All right, so we got the mats. We're good, Chad. We got... Now, I could push over and try to get mats out of here, too. Um, Because how much do we have? Eight? No, no, no. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be good to build our first... Um, our first facility, which obviously we'll probably go for meds or for the uh, infirmary. Well, so, Jordani, um, closing the door behind you in this game, I, 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 I got pretty good spatial awareness, like, of, like what's around me. I can hear the zombies. I pay attention to my audio quite a bit. The problem with closing the door behind you, in some buildings it does work very, very well. But what ends up happening is the zombie somehow hears you loot, which sometimes I feel like they get too close to the building and they'll hear you looting. And it aggros them to come inside the building. And then what ends up happening is when the door is locked, depending on the building, the zombie sits there and bangs on the door. And what that does is now that brings all of the zombies in the area to start closing in on you. Compared to if they just walk in, I could just take care of them. You know what I mean? As they're coming in. But if they start banging on that damn door, now they're going to bring more zombies in on, on me, which I don't want. So I'd rather them just walk in than me have them bang on the door and draw other zombies to the same building. You know what I mean? Now this feral down here is messing things up, but... Let's get the strange signal. I don't know how we already got the. Let me go see what this is. I got a mission before the. I even finished the other missions, which doesn't make or, uh, any sense. Generally, missions don't pop until you finish the starter materials mission. Ooh, scream on that bridge. Nothing here. Retrieve the contents of the Cleo drop in the area. Oh, well, where the fuck is it? I don't see it. Maybe I could spot it from a pop top here.
That's a weird horde right there. Underwhelming? Like whatever. We've got a bloater to worry about. I see a screamer. Survivors in there. They look settled in. I think we'd be smart to make that spot an outpost. Okay, nothing more to see here. I don't see it up here. Hmm. Generally, you can see the Cleo drop. It's like a little green beacon, and it beeps and makes noise. But I don't, I don't see it from up here. It's kind of like the ones from uh, Daybreak. Empty. Let's hope the next place is better. It's by the Red Talon base? Because that's way down here. Or are you talking about the one up here? Mm. Oh, I see it right there. Should we try? Yeah, we, yeah, we should try to go get that. Um, you get some really, really good weapons um, from this. Yeah, I thought it was going to spawn like in this area. I didn't know that it could spawn so far away. Go, 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 go. Now, driving through here, we gotta be careful. Oh, this is gonna be plague territory. Yeah, they got the echo weapons. These are really, really cool missions. I um, I was ignoring them in my new game, play, my new player guide for Lethal Zone. Cause I, didn't, I didn't even know what the hell they were, and then all of a sudden, somebody in the comments was like, "Dude, those are the new missions. Um, they they give you the Cleo weapons." And I was like, "What?" So I went and checked. So sure enough, guys, these are 100% worth doing. I got um, the M4 or the M MP5 suppressed out of this. Um, pretty good. So we're just going to try to lose these guys. We're in Plague Territory, so I don't want to mess around. Will I be playing more Walking Dead? Of course. Talk about the Telltale Walking Dead? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. So like I said, these uh, do draw zombies in. We got lucky it's only one that was close to it. Ooh, Echo S7 assault rifle, guys. Suppressed rifle. Got a new sword. We appreciate Bolts. your results in this matter. All right, so we're going to loot out this sh building right here. Sometimes you get repair kits out of these. And I need one for that Red Talon SUV. <laughs> Walking Dead Destinies. <laughs> My blood's boiling. Good thing I look here. 
There we go. Uh, we'll drop this. And I'll grab that for now. We're going to have to come back up here. Some good loot in there. But got the repair kit. Lady X with the super chat. Oh, so, so far, nothing. We uh, I explained the update um, earlier on in the episode. I showcased the slider. And now we're kind of just waiting for the slider to go live on this community. And, uh... Zombie. We're going to see if we can beat this damn Freak thing. Zombies. Highly doubt it. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, we could we could go back in. Yeah, yeah, we could we could go back in. Cassie, what's up, brother? How you doing? Well, Paul, you said that you the, the game was getting too easy for you, man. And this definitely did the exact opposite of that. I appreciate it, Caspi. You said that the curveballs made things too easy. Now you can turn them off. A nearby plague heart means there's no real security here. Now you don't have to put it on ultra hard either. There is like there's normal, then there's medium, then there's like hard. You know, like um, I'd obviously just put it on ultimate hard, but there is a, a, a there is middle ground on this. Do I have enough gas to make it back to me? Yeah, I should be fine with what we got. This car is pretty decent on fuel. Damn, bro, how are we getting mission pops before I even finish the first mission? Friends now. Should be good. I'm about to pop this bloater too. I don't want him to sneak up on me as I'm trying to drive away. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a plague hard not too far away. So I don't know how much time we have exactly before the, um, from my experience, uh, the curveballs popped on, I think it was like day, like as soon as day one had finished, I got them on like my second day. So that's what I'm expecting from this. And I'm hoping we can get all of our stuff in line before that happens. Not that it's really going to help all that much, but. Sully, what's going on? How you doing, brother? Might go down and clear that feral out. 
Just so we don't have to worry about them being in our area. Ray, I just heard that one of the groups we were supporting in Trumbull left the valley. It sounds like they're pretty angry with us. Ray, are you there? Pick up. We need to talk. Yeah, we got Ray, fuel. You'd better not be ducking my call. I'm sure glad I'm not the one she's yelling at. Let's go clear up this you. feral real quick. Ah, oh, Luke, what's going on, brother? How you been, man? It's good to see you. Clear this area out. Uh, I'll actually come down here and loot too. We'll swap out survivors. We we'll love the Fallout show. Very intense. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna check. I haven't. I haven't started watching it. No, I, I told you. I'm super trying to finish One Piece. So it's like any little bit of time I do have to like watch anything, I've been dedicating to watching One Piece. Damn, Luke. That's all. Hey, I mean, I hope everything's going good for you, brother. That's awesome to hear, man. Moving off the grid. I don't even know what that means, dude. Like living in the. Are you going to be like living in the jungle and shit? The Zeds have us outnumbered. We need more people. It's pretty sick, man, if that's what you see. Um got that. Okay, so we're gonna head down here. We'll loot out this area. Six eight right now. Connect to city. Ah, oh, it's sick, dude. Wait, so you're not gonna have no electricity, or you got you're gonna be like doing your own electricity solar? But that's sick, dude. That's sick. These conspiracy theories the network is selling aren't helping anyone. There's no time to argue over process. To survive, we have to get things done. Red Talon is building the new future. We want you to be a part of it. But yeah, for those of you guys who are fast searchers, you're probably definitely gonna like this. Because, like, for instance, like, right here, if I check that surrounding area, really isn't any zombies around. Um, there's a couple up there. I don't know if they'll hear a search crash, but now you can fast search, and it won't spawn a zombie if you search it's crash. It, it's only going to... Oh, there's something close by. I want to get his sample. Crossbow is the best way to do it. So we gotta get our infirmary building. I'm glad we've already got a start on building the space up into something real. Okay. If anyone over there is listening, we could use some help. So we're gonna go link up with them. They're gonna want two plague samples, obviously.
Okay, so we're gonna go collect that other vehicle really quick. Uh, we can actually transfer it right into here. Yeah, so for those of you guys coming in, again, the update, this is not update 36. This is another new update that just landed on the PTR. Um, it's the new zombie spawn system that they're tweaking and, and tinkering with. Um, and it's the new adjustable curveballs where you can turn curveballs on, um, turn them off. You can adjust them to have only positive, only negative. Uh, more positive than negative, more negative than positive. Uh, you can have, then you can also change the intensity of positive or negative. Like it's so highly, highly customizable. If you want to see the slider, if you go back in the beginning of the stream, I uh, showcase the slider. Uh, once the curveballs activate on this community, I'll be able to show you guys the slider again on here. Okay, so we're gonna fuel up this, repair this. I haven't had one of these vehicles in forever, man. These are actually quite rare. Okay, so we're going to go hunt plague samples uh, for this group. While we're doing that, we also need to figure out what we're going to do for food. Because right now, as soon as that day ticker comes, we're losing, what, three food, right? Yeah, we're going to lose three food immediately once the day ticker goes by. All right, so I already have all my bolts. Uh, this should be a pretty easy hunt for the most part. Uh... Crossbow is like the hardest thing to get. Might go back and rewatch um, playing Fallout 4. You, you know what's crazy is um, while well, this Fallout hype, I, I wanted to replay. Well, I, I wanted to go back to Fallout 4 because there was that one mod there that you guys told me to play. The uh, the one that it takes place like in the what the hell was it called? It's like the Frost mod or the Snow mod or something like that, and you get to play like during the war or whatever, and it shit sounded really cool. Okay, so we're here to hunt. But I really enjoyed Fallout 4, it was awesome. I wanna see what they have for, s Frost Mod, yeah, something like that. I heard that one was really cool. What's up? The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. They have mats, energy drinks, and fuel. Those things basically infect their whole environment. Definitely grab the gas. I'm not going to waste on the materials right now. You could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. The frost mod will make you lose your mind. Really? Is it that? Is it bad? This won't be easy, so you'd better gear up before you head out. On the 23rd fall, London comes out Nothing this month. Like this is a good way to make friends. Now, Fallout London is a Fallout 4 mod, right? Okay, so what is... Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. This is Lily Ritter with the network. I'm reaching out because I'm worried about my friend Ray Santos. He hasn't been answering his radio, and I'm getting a little worried. I'm sure it's nothing. But I'd appreciate it if someone could check and make sure everything is okay. I don't know if, if it's just me. I wish that uh, you could get plague samples from all freak zombies. Minus maybe bloaters, like ferals, screamers, and jugs. Give us another reason to hunt freaks, you know what I mean? There's one.
I'm all finished up. About damn time. So, it, it, the Fallout show, in the timeline of games, when does it take place? <laughs> Excuse me. Clear for now, but I know that won't last. Let's clear this out. We can grab some stuff. Oh, Paul, I agree, man. The bloater gas, uh, it was so good. The bloater glands and the bloater gas was really, really cool. It's based on Fallout 3 with elements of 4. Oh, shit, that's pretty cool. Smokes, we could sell that to that enclave. Get ready, full up. Okay, so we need one more sample still. There it is. No, my new player guide I showcase, yeah, for people to... If you're in this situation, you get your samples, spend a few extra minutes, try to get five so you can make a play cure right off the bat. Fallout New Vegas is 2281. Fallout 4 is 2287. The show is 2296. I definitely got lucky and got a crossbow this time around. Spawns are pretty decent over here. Ooh, shit, and we got a feral. But Lady X, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the love and the information. But Caspi, I was surprised, man. You and Fallout were definitely two things I never thought would. Uh... Of course. put me to work there dude i finished 76 yeah i finished 76 i finished four I, the only fallout game i didn't finish on the channel was um fallout 3 sell that I see we got fuel 500 imports we're gonna if one of us gets infected we're happy to share the recipe if you need it I'm glad you could help take it easy <laughs> we got like hey, episodes hun, you're welcome to come in 
But then even when we jumped on the other ones, Casper, I know I know it wasn't it wasn't your favorite thing, but now we we oh the damn day ticker just hit. We just lost the three food. It's all good though. How about we see what we've got? Sounds good. I have some news to share with you. I know it's ugly work, but we can't slack off on wiping out the plague hearts. All right, let's sell this stuff to them real okay. quick. Get a little bit more influence, and Let's then we're gonna trade, go. Okay. Sounds good. 102, man. That's not bad. Already up to a thousand, over a thousand influence. Gas up here. Uh, honestly, this has probably been one of the smoothest starts I've had on a, uh, on a playthrough in a, in, a, in a long while. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. Okay, so we got. I'll do this Tartan Mart here. This provides food, right? Yep. So we'll get Tartan Mart here as our first outpost. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Kind of cut out, uh, cut out uh, into this food loss a little bit. So far, let me make sure. Yeah, curveballs are still not active, which is good. We still got, still got some time. here maybe someone would want this this doesn't have shit the area is secure and the outpost is up so we got a heavy weapon. I think I've got something for you. Oh, what? We found that gear we needed. Now we just have to go get it. Builder and plunder? Seriously? Where? What do you think it's going to be? Hopefully, if, if this builder and plunder doesn't spawn in the worst possible location, yeah, I can actually... I don't have enough parts. I was gonna say, if I really wanted to play this, I could act. I could get this as an outpost. Activate plague disruptor. Just early on as hell. That way we don't have to worry about anything. Early game fucking builder and plunder is no joke. Like, at all. Alright, let's see where the hell these spawn and where the hell they want us to go, because it could be pretty miserable. Sometimes I wonder if this is hell and what I did to end up here. Oh, uh, I think I have to play as her. Okay. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna give him the the shotgun. More than usual. A deteriorating red warehouse. It looks promising. Lead on. Okay, so this one's looks like it's going up towards Fairfield. It's not bad, guys. We could we could pull that off. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's do it. I'm gonna equip a real weapon though. Um I'll bring crossbow still, but we're gonna we're gonna primarily have this just in case shit hits the fan. With like ferals and stuff. Grab energy drinks, heals. Rodan, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Thank you for the super chat. Let's do this. This dude has a shotgun on him. He'll be alright. I might regret this. Stellar Blade. Alpha, I gotta look into it. Yeah, man. I, it, it's... So many games come out, dude. It's so hard for me to keep up with everything. Um, especially if it's not games I'm, like, particularly following. We riled up that horde. Worth a look here. We got deadheads all around us. Huh. The heads are getting closer. Before, this ain't good. Damn dead heads are everywhere. Nice shot. Is that it? I can't tell if there's another wave on the way. You gotta be careful because we're getting into waking up the play cart. Turrets. Oh, watch out! Idiot. All these kills are... Let me see if I can lose these zombies. What's the feral? Nope. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Well, now, now it doesn't matter. Play cart is awakened. Fuck, this is a terrible start. But heart's awake, so now it doesn't even matter. Shoot that bloater before it's close enough to poison me. I don't hear any zombies. But in plague territory, that never lasts. Uh, Cryptic, believe it or not, yeah, the uh, that skin on the ranger truck is actually uh, newer wow. than that. That ranger skin is uh, was introduced when. Uh, when um, Providence Ridge came out, this was the original. This is the Red Talon vehicle. God damn it, guys. This is not what we wanted. 
Now we got a play card awakened in the middle of town. Oh man. Exactly this is gonna be another job well done. So uh, yeah, I seen some of the bloaters are green. Not all of them, though. There's some uh, there was a bug. Now this update is pre update like update 36 is not integrated on the beta build for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, and I know before update 36 came out, there was, you could would periodically see green bloaters mixed into some of the uh, one of the horde compositions. I think it was the screamer du double bloater horde. Um, for some reason, the bloaters in the screamer double bloater horde was were green. So, in my personal opinion, waking up the play cart was not worth the resources, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a play cart not too far away. These are very, very rare, Cryptic. Yeah, these ones are rare. So th this whole time right now was supposed to be, be me preparing for the curveballs to kick off, you know, and get everything squared away. And we've, be a big help. we've already Our made tons of mistakes. Like when a plan is right, it's right. Yeah, we've already made tons of mistakes and put ourselves in a bad spot, so... We're gonna. I'm gonna have to go up to the cell tower. I want to scout, see how many play cards are in this area here. How many are overlapping and everything, so we truly know what we're dealing with. Oh, oh yeah, Priscilla. It's not potentially. You can make all negative curveballs, and now they also made it to where you can adjust the intensity. So before, when you guys fought the black black play card, remember how everything was. Uh, pre-nerf it was really really hard and uh, but that was black play cards on normal difficulty right now you can bump the difficulty of curveballs up twice so you have black play cards then you have black play cards nightmare i guess you could say and then there's another level so imagine black play cards bumped up two levels yeah getting shredded dude <laughs> And, and that's what we're playing on right now. We're, we're not going to win this, I can guarantee it. Especially with this start. Like, things started off so well, like, resource-wise. And I already, we just woke up a play cart. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in a bad way. Okay, so we already see that there's a heart here, but these two, I don't, yeah, they overlap. So I couldn't even clear that one right now if I wanted to without waking up another heart, which means we'd need a plague disruptor. Oh, this is going to be rough, guys. Uh, Hopefully there's no viewership on this <laughs> on this series, dude, so we can just end it and start again, dude. <laughs> Hopefully no one shows any interest in this series. That 
place has way too many zombies inside. Yeah, already have an infestation, dude. Told you guys, we're we're screwed, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, nothing more to see here. Oh my God, why are they already? Uh... Might be able to clear that post office out. It's gonna be hard shot from here. Oh, a lot of nothing here. Yeah, the spawn rates in the, the in, uh, in this area are pretty crazy. On top of the fact that we have an infestation there, and this is the beginning of the game. Andrew, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Nothing but interest in the series, bros. Uh, love watching your SOD play. I appreciate you, man. Seriously. And Sergeant Sofa just said, um, only just got stated in K. I've been watching a lot of your high two guides. are great. I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. I appreciate the love, seriously, dude. Um, no, I don't. I. I was hoping that this was the infestation screamer. Click and a half. Yep, awesome. So it was. And then there's the one down here. I don't know if we can get that from outside, though. I'm hoping we can see the screamer from outside. There he is. So the thing about crossbows and windows is you gotta hit the window, then you're gonna have to hit the screamer because the first bolt won't penetrate. Window broken, streamer dead. Right, both of the stations clear. Okay, so the infestations are clear for now. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last, though. Whatever, lady. I don't care. Ain't nobody got time for that. I was a long way from home when it happened, and I've been trying to get back here ever since. I know my husband and my son are gone, but I need something, anything to help remember them. My goal was to get in here, do this before I freaking.
get in here and get this damn uh, scout mission done without making the damn map any worse. It seems like we did okay. We cleared out the two infestations. I don't know how long it's going to be before that thing spits out more infestations. is always lit up white and then you go there and there's no freaking loot not ever dude it's so annoying ricky holy crap man with a 31 months a new sd2 challenge can't wait to get off work like dude the challenge is it hasn't started yet but it, it, it's it's coming dude it's coming but yes this is gonna probably be one of the hardest things i've tried to do in a while And it's not even like uh, I can. And the thing is, is I can. I'm not gonna be holding back. Generally, I have to like do all these like rules runs. This is just straight up gameplay, guys. Like I don't. I don't have to tie my hands in any way, shape, or form. It should just be hard by itself. Home, sweet whatever. So that's the goal with this here is to just be able to play that because because like challenge runs are fun. You know what I mean? Because sometimes that's just what you got to do when you get to a certain point in a game. Is you got to kind of like do these challenge runs in, in order to really um you know get a challenge out of the game and but at the same time it, they do get frustrating because you want the game to kind of be challenging on its own you know instead of having to i want to be able to you know, like take the gloves off and just play the game as hard as i can and and really try to see how good i can do and yeah you do get to a certain point where that all kind of goes away and it's it, i'm hoping that this uh this, these changes here really ramp things up and, and make it nice and challenging for me. All right, we're going to go down here and uh, get the food because my food numbers are a little low. Uh, Caspi, I'm, the, the only thing that we're waiting on for the challenge to kick in is for curveballs to start. Um, and usually it takes about a day or two in game, so... I'm pretty sure here soon they're gonna they're pr pretty much any time now they should be popping. Ooh, we need gas. Why am I taking this car? I guess what I'm getting at is like, I have to, ch when it comes to State of Decay, I have to challenge myself. You know what I mean? I have to write the rules in order for it to be hard. Where I feel like. It's about to be a real hard fucking playthrough. This damn right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I want the game to just kind of write the rules and I just am along for the ride. So that's why I flip these switches and I'm hoping that the game challenges me. But yeah, when I have to like, okay, well, I'm just going to make sure I, I, I use no oh, melee and no stamina items and this and that and this and that. And now the game's hard. You know what I mean? It's, it's a different, it doesn't feel the same. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm hoping that this is, this is nice and hard. I mean, it's already going to be hard because I'm making mistakes, and I, I, I can already tell this ain't, this ain't going to be it. It's been a little while since I've had a community wipe, but if there was ever going to be a time 
Shit, when was the last time you guys seen me have a legit community wipe? Hey, not bad. I think you're right, Kat. Yeah, the first crafting only challenge, yeah. It was one zombie, guys. One zombie and a screamer that went off. Like, how was that enough to wake up the... Mm, this came up empty. Guys, what am I going to do... When the curveballs pop, <laughs> what am I going to do? this dude I'm trying to find out where maybe oh, it's the only food spot outside of plague territory. Is that the best thing, dude? It, it, it's rough, man. The, the, no, Caspi, it's gonna get bad, dude. Like really bad. Set. Got our resource numbers looking good. Game plan, guys. Game plan, game plan, game plan. I need a better base for sure, but we got to figure out what the hell can I do with these... I might be able to do something about this one at least. 
And we might have to just go in on our first play cart like really quick. I can't have that one down there spitting infestations at me and the one up top, guys. It just, we, we can't. We can't do it. I'll be pissed. Um, This place is just awful. That actually worked, dude. They could fit around the front of the car if they wanted to. Chat, did that really work? God, Hall, that is not the way to start a weekend, dude. I hope he feels better soon. That's not going to fit. I'm carrying a bit much right now. I hope what I sent him uh, 
cheers him up a little bit. Yo, that really worked somehow, chat. I really don't get it. Should be okay. Switch over to that. Store this stuff up. Ah, uh, Beast Brother, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. Oh, and Rex Neil, that is way too much. With the huge super chat, man. Uh, thanks for the hours of entertainment. Love from Canada. I appreciate the love. Seriously, man. That is absolutely wild. And then James with the super chat. Can't get enough of it. Man, you guys are way too kind. Seriously, I appreciate the love. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series of me... I, I, I did just take out one of the hearts. I didn't think that would work, guys, because the zombies could... They, I think they could still jump through here. Yeah. I don't see anything so they could have jumped through there. They could have went in front of my car, and they still could have jumped through this. But for some reason, where I put the car, they just didn't even try. So, yeah, there's that. But seriously, I really appreciate the love, guys. Okay, so that infestation's gonna get, go away. We did get a sidearm too. We got this little 22. It's the, I think it's the target MK3, right? Competition, yeah, the competition. They need plague samples, which actually I could, I could afford to give them because I just got the samples from the heart. I should take that screamer out from a distance. Oh, what game am I playing later? I do not know. My son has a concert here um, in a little bit. So uh, it kind of just depends on what time I get back from that. Because it starts at like 7.30. So I don't even know if I'll be doing another stream tonight. Honestly, um, my son's concert is kind of the priority. So when I get back from that, I'll, I'll see how we are time frame. And we'll go from there. He's beat up. Yeah, he's like real beat up. He's the one that ran into that damn bloater out on that mission. All 
Okay, so they will become uh they'll become allies if we give them these samples, and I think they need three for this mission. Full hop four. <laughs> Oh, did I not grab bolts? I didn't. Good call out there. I mean, good thing we're not gonna really have to fight anything. Wouldn't be the first time I've ever done that. Equip the crossbow and grab bolts. Screamer, backside. Even though this is gonna self clear, we still get the influence. This. I owe you for that one. So now we got allies. Uh, definitely grab the Let's repair kit. Go. I'm going to grab this first aid kit. We need it for our other guy. Our other dude's pretty beat up, and I'll grab those mollies. They're quite cheap. Okay, so we'll let her rest up because she she did just come back from being tired, so there's a good chance she's gonna get tired again. Um, but now I have a way to heal him up, so we can we can roll at him now, which is cool. You know why everybody's having bad luck, guys? We haven't we haven't outfitted them properly. As you guys know, my communities are the hoodie gang, so we got we got to get them we got to get them all dressed up in proper hoodie attire. Uh, how often do I use uh rarely ever Paul only time like in in cases like this um where I need to use a survivor that's beat up uh because I don't have access to you know fast seals uh, I'll do this the first aid kits especially if you can buy them at that premium it's it's definitely worth doing and then now I can use him you know he's fully fully healed up but yeah I don't I don't ever use him for the most part switch to the seven. Probably could do up some more bolts too. Our uh, materials are quite high right now. Could go here, craft suppressors if we get a level two. We're gonna go up, hit my little fuel spot. I left you some goodies. Don't everyone thank me at once. We do gotta be careful that there's a feral in this area, which he might hear the car, and this is plague territory, so. Uh, Andrew, holy crap, man. Thank you for the super chat. Got to get my four-year-old uh, a glove for T-Ball. He starts tomorrow. I have a kick-ass stream. Hey, I appreciate the love. I remember when my son did T-Ball. He only did it for a year. No. Yeah, he only did it for one year. And then we tried to sign him up for Little League, and then we signed him up, and then the coach just never called us, and he just didn't play that year. <laughs> yeah. Wicked weird.
Army Cat with the super chat. Play ball for capitalize on the show, cause a renewed interest in this fantastic game. Hey, 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 listen, 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 guys. Where? I'm betting it's the latter. I, I would, I would do it for, for different reasons, guys. Listen, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not trying to just view chase here, guys. Now, if, if, if I would be like, I will play Fallout 4 because Caspian and Army Gal are asking me to. That's more of a reason. But view chasing ain't it. I love this spot, guys. You get so many fuel cans. It's so good. Fallout 4 is amazing. I, I actually really, really enjoyed the game. It's my favorite Fallout game of them all. I played Fallout 4 and all the DLCs. Wait for the Fallout 4 next-gen patch on the 20th to 25th. Probably would be a good time to check it out. How many gas cans we got, dude? Five cans, guys. All right, we got this big warehouse. While we're doing that, we'll also hunt some samples. But the, the thing is, is there, there's the next gen update coming out, but I'm pretty sure when I played Fallout 4, it was already already 60 frames a second on PC at least. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secured. Miss Drizzy, your daughter came today. Oh my God, Drizzy! She's adorable. She's so peaceful. And now I've got two little girls now. <laughs> Congrats, Drizzy! Oh my God, there's nothing better in the world, man. Congratulations, seriously. That that's so awesome. Kai, okay, I appreciate you dropping the super chat too. Andy, with almost two years veteran survivor should do a fallout 4 playthrough where you side with an institute instead of the brotherhood of steel if i were to do a fallout 4 playthrough man i think i would want to do a fucking sick ass ninja melee build too oh, uh, i have no clue what i'm play playing next i don't even know if i'll be doing another stream tonight um i, I said my son is uh he has a performance tonight at 7.30, and I'll be doing that. So, uh, depending on what time that ends and, and all that will dictate what I do. No time like the present. Okay, mm. we got a wandering trader, medicine trader. We got to use a little bit of meds. Plus, I want to see if uh, we could sell some of our extra stuff to him. So still no curveballs. That was our second day. So I'm hoping that tomorrow in the morning, 
um, in game that the curveballs pop. That'd be nice. Yeah, still no curveballs as of right now, guys. We're still waiting. Miss taking shots at dog me. Get out of here, dude. I shot dog me one time, bro. One time. How's it going? And it was an accident. Heavy duty circuitry. So we get these. Uh, once that's done upgrading, we can get these breaking down here. Um. Try to see if we have anything else we could sell. Not really. We're so early. Ooh, we got a smoke grenade though. We're so early in the game right now that kind of need everything. I could sell the screwdriver. No, I sell this brake. Is it on? Yeah, I mean, I don't, in this, uh, they, they took, there's no more curveball, like, in that menu, you can only turn curveballs off now in the curveball menu. Yeah, they changed it. Have I ever played? So we played a bit of the long dark on the channel. Yeah, we were playing the story mode for it. Um, I actually wanted to play that game, like beat the rest of the story mode. That'd be awesome. I was quite enjoying that one. We were we were going hard on the story mode, and I kind of got like community pressured into playing like a survival mode so i stopped doing a story and kind of got sucked into the survival mode and then the series kind of started dying off and i think that's actually when we got into fallout on the channel and i just haven't really got back to it yet Had him go live on day one. Jason, me too, dude. I when on my on my lethal zone guide playthrough. I think it was like half it was like I think at the very start of day two. Let's make a deal. The curveballs okay. went went live. So. so it's kind of just gonna be a matter of whenever the hell the game decides to give them to us. Ooh, so we can get cast making kit, guys, which will give us passive healing um with a level one infirmary. Or I could just upgrade the infirmary. I think I'll just upgrade the infirmary. These are expensive. We can get them on discount from uh, our enclaves. Sell this. But I will buy a bag of meds. I'm going to loot this house out, see if we can get any stuff here. We can just sell to this trader. But I think I'd rather... Because the only thing I need from that level 2 workshop that we're building right now is a suppressor. So literally, we could just build the suppressor, and then I can tear it back or downgrade it back to a level one and then uh just build a level two uh a level two freaking infirmary eh, that'll do. so we still have that heart that's up awake up in fairfield Which could easily be bleeding so many. Uh, should I do a scouting run? How much? It's too fuel. Ah, not happening, dude. <laughs> I'd rather just get clotheslined by by some BS than waste resources on that. Jamie Cantu with the super chat. Thank you so much. Hope all is well. Here's some uh, money for Winston Treats. Uh, do you plan to try infection free zone? Seems like a cool little. Um, I think I've seen something on that one. I, th I think that one's on my list, Jamie. I'm not exactly sure, though. 
Are you up for some trading? Okay, I guess so. Getting some good stuff here, guys. Making some decent influence right now. Ah, oh, peace, brother. Sorry, I, I missed that, dude. I appreciate you, brother. I, I thought you sent a super chat. I responded to. Um, but I'm glad that the lethal Go zone guide is helping you, brother. That is, uh, those guides are kind of like my pride and joy. They're the things I, I definitely um, I, I love the most about the channel. And you know, every, the, every time somebody comes and like says, like, dude, your guides help me beat my for, like. That shit is so, so awesome. So the fact that those are helping you out, man. Are you up for some trading? Uh, it's, it's a really good feeling. Damn. It's getting a little thick up here. I'm going to loot out this shed, too. So this is stuff we want to keep. I'm going to break this down into parts. Materials. Spent the last three days only playing this game. I hope you're enjoying it, man. Yeah, I, I used to play. I played State of Decay exclusive for quite a long time. Um, quite a long time. I see a bloater. <laughs> this place is clean. Actually, getting quite a few materials out of this. We could use this. Beautiful. Did we get anything else? I uh, got these. We could sell the decent bourbon. I got some stuff to trade. Okay, I guess so. Okay, so we made a decent bit of influence. Uh, nothing I really want to buy. I was thinking about buying maybe another bag of medicine, but we should be okay with what we have. We got to go try to mulch up some parts now. Um, damn. Spawns are ridiculous. What are we getting from them? Uh, ammo, income, and shooting XP. How much ammo are we getting from them? Plus one. Spurs. 
So we could still use a bit more food. I'm not... Because I think we're still losing, what, four food a day right now? Still losing four a day. We need to get a bigger base, honestly. That, that That's what we need to do. Um, we're going to actually go over and scout out Spencer's Mill. Because I got, I'm going to set up another food outpost here on the road like I always do. It's my, my go-to spot. Set up a food outpost here. It's kind of like... And then we'll go in, we'll scout out the town, see where the play cards are, how many we're going to have to take out in order to move into a better base. I think we'll just send him as is. We could actually upgrade this now without having to worry about downgrading the this. And I'm going to craft that suppressor. Craft that suppressor. Then we'll get these parts mulching. I know it's ugly work, but we can't slack off on wiping out the plague hearts. Okay, parts income looks good. Let's go do the scout run. This is the right place for another outpost. Let's get this outpost set up. Okay, so now we should only be losing two food a day. If we put a little work into this place, it could be even more useful. Yo, the medical place is actually looted out, man. No meds for us there. I mean, meds are not really something we need right now anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but it does suck. No meds. How many of you guys think that this curveball is going to be, like, once the curveballs go live, it's going to be punishing? I'm hoping that we, like, I'm hoping for pain and misery beyond belief, chat. Like, you. We got a new development. A mysterious one on Trader. I still do wish there was a way for curveballs to just be active immediately so you didn't have to wait. Alright, so let's sneak into town. We'll leave the car here. We're going to go on foot 
And uh, do the scouting run. This one's cleared out. Better keep moving. It was one of the clown zombies. Those are quite rare. Just have to fall forward, Stalin, just in case. <laughs> even if I did stream it tonight, Casper, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be. You won't even be awake by the time I played it. Cause you gotta think, my his concert's at seven thirty. Say it's an hour, but. I, I'd have to I'd probably start streaming at nine and that's way too late um, because I'm not in my office. That's way too late. So there's a, like, I'm like pretty positive. I won't be streaming tonight. It'll just be too late. Actually, hold on. Give me one sec, guys. Give me one sec. Are they still outside? All right, sorry about that, guys. Sorry. Got the guys helping out with the off or working on the office. And it's the last day. And he had a question, so. All right, let's go through the scout and run. I 
I have not watched Fallout yet, no. I might watch it tonight. Maybe I'll watch an episode. Because, but you know, it says I won't be streaming. Pick the paint colors. We just did white, uh, Armageddon. Yeah, the paint's just going to be white. And then uh, Crystal did the curtains. I don't, I don't like decorate anything like that. I just leave that all to Crystal. for now but in plague territory more zeds are always close yeah the whole house is like white Thinking, I was hoping for one play card because sometimes you can get lucky and this base is only swallowed up by one heart. Uh, but at this rate, I highly doubt it. Right there. Wonderful. Another plague heart. Spotted a bloater, ready to burst. Looks like another pack of Zeds. Yo, chat, Verizon is so annoying, dude. Does anybody else have an older iPhone? Like, I got an iPhone 13. And I That's swear, the past like month and a half, Verizon messages me like every couple days, and it's like, turn your Verizon phone 13 or your iPhone 13 into us. We'll pay off your phone balance, and we'll we'll give you four hundred dollars towards the iPhone. I'm like, bro, why y'all want me to have this iPhone fucking 15 so bad, bro? Like, is it? it, it that that makes me want to keep my fucking iPhone 13 more, because now you're making me feel like I got something special, dude. <laughs> Like they've been trying to get me, they want my iPhone 13 so bad. I'm like, bro, now you definitely ain't getting it, bro. Now you're definitely not getting it. I had a, like, you guys ready for this? This was the transition from iPhones for me, right? I went from an iPhone 6, which was, well, I had an Android S, S13 or S, I, I don't remember. It was, it was old. I think it was an, I think it was the S13 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but I, I had an old ass Android phone, right? I got my first iPhone because my wife has the, uh, had an iPhone and, she wanted like, like FaceTime and stuff like that. So uh, my first iPhone was an iPhone 6. All right. I had that forever, dude. And then I went from an iPhone 6 to an iPhone 8. And then an iPhone 8 to a 13. <laughs> and I planned on having the 13 probably till the 20 comes out. Two play cards. Uh, oh, gosh. No, you got to go check down here because sometimes there's a play card down here too, right? That can hit it from the other angle. We're going to drive down there, though. We're not going to mess around with walking. I've never really seen the point in like upgrading your phone like every year. Like I know some, I got some people, you know, I know they every year they get the new iPhone. And I'm like, bro, why? Like, 
literally the di I, I can't tell the difference between them like that that's why i liked when i upgraded because i went from like the 8 to the 13 and that shit was a big difference you know what i mean there's a huge difference between iphone 8 and iphone 13 but when you get go from like an iphone 13 to like a 14 or a 15 it's like you what's the difference you know they look identical to me i can't tell you the fucking difference oh well the processor is like 3.4 percent faster in the play i'm like i don't give a fuck dude I'll upgrade when it's a 200% upgrade, okay? I don't care about 3.4%, bro. I'm not paying you more money for 3.4%. You could keep it. So I pretty much just hang on to mine until that shit is a brick. Doesn't work all that well. Uh, honestly, the only, I would have kept my iPhone 8. I, I love the, the 8. Um, to remake the world. Takes cooperation. Takes selflessness. I don't take a lot of pictures. Like, I literally think of my whole phone's... Like, ever having a phone, I've probably taken, like, 200 pictures. Ever. And, um... So I don't take a lot of pictures, so I don't need like a good camera. The main, the only reason why I swapped off my iPhone 8 was because I had it for so long that the battery was like perma dead. Like my shit would go, it would go from 100% to zero in like five hours. Like it was so annoying. And that was with like battery save, like everything, Chad. It was just, my phone just started dying so bad. Um, And that was the only reason why I got rid of my phone because the iPhones have the, like the, the like built-in batteries or whatever you can't like just buy a new battery i guess you can like like get a new battery you got to bring it to one of them cell phone places but the problem with those is once you have them crack your phone open it like vo voids all the warranties and you can't like trade it back into verizon they won't take it back See now with the new iPhone, like my chart iPhone, my I charge my phone like once a week, like <laughs> legit once a week. Yo, that's another clown zombie. That's weird, Chet. Literally, I out of all the hours I played this game, I've maybe seen five clown zombies, and I've seen two of them today. Okay, we're good. No, no heart. This is... No, it might be, guys, because this is still plague territory. We got to go on on foot, though, because we can't see it from that scout point. Sentinel mutation? I've never seen that one, Keen. I'm hoping that we get all the... I'm pretty sure we're gonna see every negative curveball now because of the way we're we got our, we're gonna have our curveball set up. We're gonna probably see every negative curveball, and I got them all. We're gonna have them cranked to max. It's gonna be brutal. Okay, now where's that plague heart height? Okay, it's not here either. Oh, it's out in the field. These play cards are actually kind of cheesy because you can. I could cheese that one. Not even cheese it, but you can you could take that one out really easily. The challenge begins when the game decides to give me the curveballs, Caspi. It's for some reason they haven't popped up yet. I, I, I'm gonna actually exit to the menu here in a sec to see how many days have passed in game. But for the most part, on average, you usually get them about day two to three. They'll, they'll start showing up. I don't know if they change things with this new update or what, but we'll, we'll, we'll see.
Actually, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to exit here with the menu really quick. I want to see how many days have passed. I wish you could see it in-game when outside of the freaking day ticker. Yeah, it still says only one day for whatever reason, even not chat. Hasn't the sun gone up and set set like multiple times? So I, I'm thinking we should be getting it here soon. All three of those are tied together. Yeah, so all three of those are tied together, and but only two of them are locking this down. The only we, way we could do a push here is if we get uh, a plague disruptor. Leave us in eclipse. <laughs> I yeah, I started the um, the quest progression. Yeah, we, we're good on that now. Promote a leader? I don't even know if I could if I wanted to, yeah. They have they have set times. Uh, it's about two days I got. Um, when I did my, my Lethal Zone guide community, it was about two days. Because when you start a brand new game, it takes about, it's like seven or eight days or something, or five to eight days or something like that for curveballs to, to, to start. And then it's like every community after that was only like two days. Um... But it was like that initial uh, community was like eight days or something like that. So, yeah, I'm, we might have to run Disruptor, guys. That's the only thing I can think. If we want to really get into this base, we're going to probably have to run Plague Disruptor, which is fine because I could rip down this food outpost. We can get the Plague Disruptor right here, the tower right here. We got enough influence. I got parts. We can even farm up these uh, electrical transformers, see if we can get more parts there. On our way, I think that's what we're gonna end up doing, and then we'll get set up and we'll start working these play cards because it's the only way we're gonna make this happen. There's a toggle to turn on. Where's the toggle? Because I thought the toggle was in the. Because they got rid of it out of the menu here, and now it's... Oh, no, no, yeah, no toggle yet. Because it used to be a toggle in that... Can you get over here right now? We need help. There used to be a toggle in that menu, and then they switched it. Shouldn't take me long to finish this up. But this town needs is law and order. We can't stand by and watch bullshit like yes, this. Yes, we time. can. Difficulty screen? No, I don't think so. I think we just gotta wait. You just gotta wait until they populate, and then once they populate, you get the curveball menu, and then you're good to go. I was also told if you move maps, that also jump starts it, but the only way I would do that is if I had to wait like eight days, I would just move maps to kind of jump start it. Okay, so we'll gas up.
Bars. Nice stick hits different, dude. What? Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. This is Lily Ritter with the network. I'm reaching out because I'm worried about my friend Ray Santos. I haven't been answering his radio, and I'm getting a little worried. I'm sure it's nothing, but I'd appreciate it if someone could check and make sure everything is okay. Okay, so he's tired. Yeah, I mean, I, what I would like, I would like the curb boss to kick in like right now. I feel like that'd be perfect. Like I'd be good to go if they kicked him right now. Um, I just don't want him to take like any longer than like this, really. Like, and I was cool with like a little bit of time, you know what I mean, to uh, get some resources, especially because of how difficult it's going to end up being. But we'll see what happens. Cause this is like the PTR build, so I don't know if things are different. I don't. I don't know. Um, like that. Like that would be my number one request to them. Uh, like I love the changes, and like if, if, if I'm gonna actually try to talk to one of, the, I feel like they need to have an options for an option for us to just turn curveballs on immediately. Like just have them start right away. Like fuck two days, fuck three days, five days. Like no, if, if players want curveballs. God the second they start like playing, like that should be something we can, you know, choose. All right, so let's break this down. Hey, Tim, you have a great day, brother. I appreciate the love again, man. Nice, we'll get this going. Well, there's nothing here but dust and cobwebs. Okay, so we Another got outpost secure. We're in business. Fairfield Post Office, severity two. Ooh. We got a siege site here. We can go clear that before it gets any worse. Oh, let's actually swap survivors here if he's tired. We're secure. Oh, I literally just swapped it. I'm such an idiot. on the siege i mean i would but i don't know how these even work dude i've never really even gotten sieges before i usually never in this situation see this one's already had in this gonna make a level three here isn't it look how na what that one's already nasty as hell it's already got a juggernaut two ferals two screamers What is that going to up? If it goes level three, what is it going to?
Level two, yo, that that's absolutely insane. What is a level three gonna become? Because I think this is gonna. Oh, it's the same. It didn't change. Because I was going to say, that's like level three composition. So three screamers, two ferals, a juggernaut, and a bloater. Bruh. Guessing there's a plague heart not too far away. Yeah, this one's pretty easy to like knock out seed site wise. But don't you have to have three siege sites in order to get it, get a siege? Another dead thing. This is definitely infested, I'll tell you that. Can't see the screamer though. Problem is, I let up this shot. That whole horde is coming. There he is. Alpha Wolf with the hardened survivor. Thank you so much for that, dude. And then they take 20 minutes each to get there. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like the sieges are way easy to avoid. Alpha, I've been good, man. I've been good. I always thought, and Paul, yeah, I always thought sieges in the, uh, in State of Decay 2 were very underwhelming. Like even the pre the the previous system, they're all just that zombie's super stuck on my car. The State of Decay one sieges were pretty intense. Those those were pretty good.
Okay, so day ticker shouldn't be come should be coming soon. Um, damn. Okay. So yeah, these info this this town is gonna get really nasty really quick. There's not much I could do about it right now, uh, because I can't. I mean, we could activate plague disruptor, but I, I don't think it's really worth it right now to invest anything in that because I need to move, like ASAP. Oh, well, I appreciate you, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Things are so bad. I can't sleep at night for worrying lately. All right, so we're going to swap over to... Yeah, we'll swap over to him. We're going to go try to do this play cart. Well, I don't, I, yeah, I mean, you guys can get the, I don't want none of those. That shit'll hurt my stomach. <laughs> I was thinking about getting those noodles that Noah got without any cilantro. The, it had like that sauce on them. I wouldn't mind trying those. But then again, I'm still worried about what it might do to my tummy. No, nah, he's, he's not ready. He's not ready, chat. I literally just got off of him. Um, Amy, how much blood plague does really use some good news for it, Jane. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get the noodles, I'll try the noodles. As long as I can get them without any cilantro. That shit tastes like soap. Okay. Boom. Boom. I'm being honest, guys. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll be able to do both. I'm gonna try real hard. We'll try to get both. Uh, we're gonna activate 180 parts. Oh my gosh, it's heavy, dude. On my on my one playthrough that we're doing on our Lethal Zone guide, I got like a computer's person, and this is like 60 parts. It's so cheap. 180 is thick, and it's only an hour and a half compared to three. I right, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully, while we're doing this, we get a freaking curveball pop, dude. Y'all seen that barrel just jump in front of me like that? That's crazy. Wish me luck for trying to take out two play cards. I don't think we got it, Caspi. I'm retired, man. I'm retired. It was nothing I didn't do, before, but I, was, I wasn't I was retired and an old man back then, Caspi. You know, I was a young spring chicken. I was fleet of foot, agile.
should share a bit of our good fortune with our neighbors. Is that another phase? What? Huh? Wasn't I already on phase three? I don't think I faced that, I just ran outside because of the barrel. territory like this. This is quite a load I'm carrying. <laughs> what is he done? Oh. Alright. Hold on, give me one sec, guys.
bigger impact. All right, sorry guys. No, he said tomorrow. All right, sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Oh, we go. What do you mean, Caspi? I, I I was struggling right there, As long as that plague heart is nearby, we can't really secure this place. Is it cheating if you stand on top of a trunk shooting plague hearts? No. Yeah, no, really. No, no. I tell people all the time, you know, when it comes to playing this game, is be careful of you can play how you here. want to, you know what I mean? Like, like when I try to teach people how to play, obviously I, I advise people not to do things like that because the problem is if you if you stand on top of play cards and, and and or stand on top of cars and kill play cards it that's going to be the only way you can kill play cards you know what i mean same thing with ferals like you know we, uh, that's like the number one people um fight ferals is like a feral like they'll, they'll they'll be standing here they'll be doing whatever they'll hear a feral roar and the first thing they do is freaking and then they're doing this you know, bang, bang, like that's literally what they do every single time. They're walking around, they're looting feral. They're just like, you know what I mean? And and then the problem is, is when at first it becomes like it's okay to do it sometimes. Like if you're if you're overwhelmed, you need a second, you gotta hop up on a car, pop something, or like that. That's fine, you know what I mean? But what happens is it do, it doesn't ever end there. Um, what ends up happening is it becomes. It, it kind of becomes a response instead of something like like a tool you know what i mean it, it just becomes your reaction so w what you're going to notice is every time you hear a feral or every time a feral comes at you instead of thinking like you're, you're focusing on the feral you're looking where's the first car where is something i can get on top of that's going to be the first thing that pops in your mind where when i see a feral i'm like okay what's the best angle i can get at to line up a shot um, you know, do I have any stamina items on me? Uh, do I need to make space with the feral? Where your mindset is, where, what, what, where's the closest thing I can climb on top of? Now, once you become that one trick pony, that's the only way you respond to ferals. Say you get caught out, you know what I mean? And you can no longer, or you don't have anything to climb on around you, you're absolutely going to get shredded. You know what I mean? Um, then you're not going to have a backup. You know, that, that's just the only way you can deal with ferals. We can set up base here. Okay, so we can claim this now. Goo, what's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in good shape, guys. We got we got the base cleared out. We can get moved over here. Oh, shit. We need four people. I forgot. Damn it. Uh, actually, that's an easy fix. Okay. Uh, we'll go recruit one of them other boogies real quick. Goo, they, they're adding, uh, they added some new stuff, man. It's on PTR right now. Um, where you can, uh, Adjust the curveballs now. You can turn off good curveballs, turn on only... For those of you guys who don't know what this update is about, I'll kind of recap it right now, too. Um, because we're waiting on the curveballs to pop so I could show you guys again the uh, the sliders. Is There's a new slider for curveball, Well, a new page for curveballs where you can completely adjust them. You can turn off good curveballs, um, make them negative only. You can make it so you have more negative than positive or more positive than negative or only positive um only negative you can uh 
And then you can also change how frequently curveballs occur. You can make them show up less often. You can show up, make them show up more often, or you can make them consistent, where they just always are going. Um, and then they also made it to where now you can adjust the intensity of the curveballs. So say, you know, black play cards, you guys were fighting black play cards before on intensity one, okay? Now they upped it to where there's two more additional intensity levels. So you got intensity one, which is the original. Now you have intensity two and then intensity three. It's actually called like re default, strong, very strong, but just for simplistic terms, you pretty much have three different levels of intensity and now you can crank everything up to the max. Like, yeah, so it, it's, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see um, exactly how hard these are because i'm going to be playing on once the curveballs do pop which should be hopefully any moment now um we're going to be playing on which uh continuous so they're always going to be going um and they're going to be negative only max intensity that's how Cassie, my thing is, if they don't pop here soon, within the next day or so, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might, I might, we might have to change some stuff up. Because uh, the only other thing I can think of, let, let me actually, uh, we're at base right now. Before I go get this other survivor, let me see. Uh, for those of you guys here, I'll show you guys the um, the slider again. So I have one community so far, that, well, two communities that have the slider. Both of these communities have the sliders activated. This one, I don't think does. I just started a new community, Guru. Yeah, for this playthrough, and we're just waiting for the, the curveballs to pop up. First priority has to be gathering Yeah, see this one doesn't have it either. Prove this place. We need you to put eyes on a new area. Place in order. Well, that, that's one of the things I heard. If you move maps, you can get them to show up pretty quick. I don't know how true that is. Oof, this community's. I had this aunt who lived somewhere around here who was some kind of survivalist. I wonder if she made it this long. The problem is, I don't want to move maps the with the community that we have. And this, this community's fucking stacked, dude. And then it doesn't, it doesn't make them pop. Uh, Liam, I'm, I'm the same way, man. I honestly feel like they need to have, uh, they, they need to have a, uh, whatchamacallit they 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 need to have a, a way to turn curveballs on immediately because they're I, I get what they're trying to do like they want you know it to be like something that players can be eased into but like have that as at least as an option like i don't understand like you're, you're giving players a, an option you're making it a more an ease of a, you know an ease access thing but for people who do want it immediately like come on like like why is that not something that we can just turn on you know it just doesn't make much sense it's like they're catering to one side but then there's a whole nother group of people that would love curveballs to turn on immediately but then they they don't like there's like oh yeah you got to wait five in-game days it's like who the fuck wants to wait five fucking in-game days you know what i mean like just let me be able to turn them shits on right now dude you know so that would definitely be uh, if i if i could talk to one of the wushu dudes um that that's what i would tell them i'd be like yo like make it 
make it uh so we can do these immediately yeah that's what i'm saying now one thing i could do um i could like stock up on food and let my game run for a couple hours and just stand at base um and that will kind of pass time i was trying to see if they would pop here on this community after switching so i mean i could technically do that before the next stream is like just stock up a little bit on food and then just kind of let the let the ticker go i could actually get a upgrade my whatchamacallit and not even have to really worry about food loss all right so they're not showing up on this one right now Like, what they could do is have the curveballs off by default and then just have the curveball menu always visible. Like, even if curveballs are not a thing, have the curveballs off. Like, this is, this is my fix, all right? Have the curveballs off by default. Have the curveball menu always there. So day one, when people spawn in, their curveballs are off. But if you want to go in and... uh and turn them on day one you can do that as a player you know what i mean so i'm going to show you guys the slider here uh this community. we'll be able to see it so let me go here Go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna message one of these goonies right now, dude. Who's the Wushu Ian? Alright, hold on. I'm messaging one of the developers right now. Hold on, give me a sec, chat. Hello. Could you guys make it so the curve ball menu is active day one, but set to off by default? That way, players who want curveballs active immediately have that option. And other players can turn it on whenever they feel like they're ready right now it is quite frustrating to test because it takes forever for the curveballs to even appear Please consider making it possible for players to change this. There we go. <clears throat> So Sean, so that I don't know what happened to my game. I think it crashed. Um, the thing about it is, uh, uh, on my my lethal zone guide, 
my Lethal Zone guide, that was a fresh community, brand new community. I started playing and within a day and a half in game, like it wasn't even full two days in game, but I, I'm pretty sure it was episode two. I had curveballs active, like boom. So that that's why I say it's too inconsistent, man. There's, there's so many like, oh, it's six days, it's five days, it's eight days, it's two days if you do this. I, I don't think anybody really knows, dude. You know what I mean? Because it's I, I've seen it all over the place. I've seen it where play uh, playthroughs like this where they just don't ever seem to pop up. I've had some that you literally get them like right away, like within like day one. I've seen some you know people get them on day two. It, so it, it's very inconsistent and it's very. It, it, it's like I said, it's frustrating because you don't know when they're going to pop up. So you're, when you're sitting here trying to test something like I am now and, you know, you're trying to showcase a new feature, it's like, OK, well, you tell me I got to play the game because imagine if it was eight days or let's just say eight in-game days. An in-game day uh, for State of the K1 is an hour and a half long. An hour and a half. So you're talking an hour and a half. I got to wait. Or eight times. Dude, by I, I can beat the whole map by, by then. You know what I mean? Literally, I could beat the entire map before those curveballs even have a chance to pop up. It's just, it's too long, dude. So that's why I felt like they needed to have it. Um, hold on one sec, guys. My computer's acting stupid. Uh, so the point of curveballs are not for it to that when they come to be random, three six five black. Especially when you turn on the curveballs to be consistent, because there's a new curveball menu. If the game would fucking load, I'd be able to show you. You can have them be random like you want, but you can also make them consistent. Like I can have curveballs active at all times. Um, that is one of the new features that they came out, and um, you're. You, like as a player, I can't even do that right now. You know what I mean? I have no idea when the curveball are going to go live for me to be able to, because right now I can't even toggle that. Um, you can't access the toggle until the curveballs go active. So that that's the issue that we're having right now. Yo, my whole shit just like brick my damn computer chat. Yeah, the new black screenplay <laughs> curveball. Yeah, I might have to legit, like. Uh, I'm going to have to hard shut down my fucking PC here. But when I was saying test the curveballs, I didn't like because you said curveballs aren't for testing. Cur we're we're trying to test their new system. Like they want feedback on their new curveball system, but it's like I can't even test your new system because I'm literally sitting here for hours and hours and hours waiting for them to go live. How can I test your new system? You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Um, so that, that's what I mean by testing. Like they want us to test their new system and give them feedback on it. But I got to wait 14 hours for the system to even go live before I can test it. You're, you're not going to get no, um, you're not going to get any testing done. You know what I mean? Not like that. So that, that's what I meant. Like right now we're testing this beta. They added these sliders. There's all these new systems that we're supposed to be testing right now. And we can't even access them because we have to wait until their arbitrary fucking time frame is hit before curveballs go live on the game. And then, um, then we'll be able to play it. I had to restart my PC that like the game just straight locked my shit up like super bad. I had a solid black screen. I, like I couldn't even access my desktop. Damn. So somebody posted a picture of um, 
one of the black play cards on the Discord, and it's like the whole map. Its radius is literally the whole map with the intensity slider all the way up, guys. That is insanity. <clears throat> yeah, it's literally I just seen a picture on Discord. It, the whole the radius of the playground was the whole map. That was crazy. crazy. That's ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, I, what the hell is going on with my computer here, chat? This shit is super broken. I, really fucking windows i i i, I oh. whatever dude fucking windows update chat literally that's what that was i i i hard reset my computer and it was like you know what we'll take this time to do a windows update dude like <laughs> we're good now though guys we're good i don't have internet on this computer right now so i don't even know why all this stuff is gonna be fucking trying to activate right now uh, run normally. There we go. There we go. Now we're good, guys. Holy crap. Bushu Ian signed off. What do you mean? Nah, he's got to answer my question, dude. I'm telling you, they avoid the shit out of me over on the Discord chat. I'll be out. Every time I have a question, they're just like. Good, thank you, thank you, brother, for the super chat, man. Screen of death, right, dude? I don't know, the game crashed, though. And now it's doing this, which is weird. Nah, I, I, it's probably getting real late there, Lady X, for sure. There we go, Jesus, Kremesis, that took forever, dude. I got slayed by Windows 11, RJ. Listen, I was a Windows 10 guy, right? Bought my new computer, and when I bought my new PC, uh, I didn't even pay attention to the operating system that it came with, and yeah, shit came with Windows 11, and, uh, and you can't even buy uh, new PCs with uh, Windows 10 on them anymore. It's all Windows 11. Um, so we're going to load this up real quick. Will I revisit Fallout 4? There's been a bit of talk, Will, about Fallout 4. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see. All right. I mean, I got, I got, they, they know who I am, dude, over on the Discord, because I got a special content creator tag over on the Discord. Like, my name's a certain color, um, and I'm even, like, in, like, a little content creator, like, um, section of the Discord. But that, that, they don't, that, that, I try to tell you guys all the time, that shit doesn't mean nothing. Like, they don't, that, they don't care, okay? Like, the, like the fact I'm Brian Menard, like, it, I'm, I'm, I'm just another player of the game, for real. Like, I, I get no special treatment, guys. I, I don't get, uh, like, I, it's not like my word is law or nothing. They, they could care less. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm fine with. Like, I don't, I don't want special treatment. You know what I mean? I don't... I don't want to be treated any different. You know what I mean? Like, I leave feedback just like everybody else, you know? All right. So, yeah, we just put her up. Caspi, listen, you know that you know how many people have their name in the game that aren't even content creators, like just like normal people? 
Yeah, and I got my name in a game way after they did. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this one more time. I was scared that it was going to freaking brick my system again, but we'll see. I just wanted to showcase to you guys the... Um, The, the menu. Casper, if you ask, dude, your name will be in the game, bro. Promise. It's that easy. Like, if you go to one of Jeffrey Card's streams, and you're like, Jeffrey, can you put my name in the game? Like, he'll do it. Okay. So, here we go, guys. On a community that does have the curveballs active, okay, which realistically, if I wanted to go ham, I could just, like, do it on one of these communities. Um... What you do is you come here. They now have this thing down here, toggle curveball settings. You come here. I already have it all set to what I want, but you can turn, you can enable customization. You can change the frequency to never. So if you don't ever want curveballs in your game, boom, never. You can make them infrequent so they happen every now and again. Uh, regular, which is the baseline, which you we have all been already playing. You have frequent, which means they're going to pop up a lot more than what you guys are used to. Then you have continual, which means they're gonna just con means curveballs will appear continuously. They'll never not be active, um, which is pretty cool. And then we have uh, balance. You can change it between like you know the normal setting, or you can go with some more positive than negative, more negative than positive. You can do positive curveballs only and negative curveballs only, which obviously we only want negative. And then you can change the impact of how strong the intensity of the curveball is. Um, and we're playing, like I said, this is default. They have strong, which makes them a little bit stronger. And then they have very strong, which is, uh, it also it, it increases the range and duration. So it makes the curveballs last longer. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting to see. But I wanted to I wanted to obviously experience this on a fresh community because I have like obviously a community here. This is my uh one of my forever communities that but I I, I was like, no, nah, I want uh I want a fucking fresh community to try to, to try to go through this. So that's why we're waiting for the curveballs to go go live, guys. That's why we're waiting for the curveballs to go live. But uh, for those of you guys that wanted to see what the main bulk of this update was, that that's it right there. Yes, this is live on PTR right now. Yeah, you got anybody can come and play this. You don't have to have any special nothing. Yeah, anybody who has the PTR on Steam, you can come play it right now. But realistically, guys, what I'll probably do in between this episode and next episode is um, while I'm out running around or out and about, hopefully my base doesn't get freaking rampage because that would really suck. But um, what I might do is I'll just go. Stock up on food. And I'll just let the game run um, while I'm off stream. Just let the it literally just run and let the days pass. That way, uh, game sounds back on now. Uh, that way we can experience it how we want to. So that, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Oh, that's reinfested. Okay, so we got to recruit this dude here. The only problem with that idea, though, is if they try to siege me, <laughs> that would be awful. I mean, I could set up now uh, outpost traps here, so... We'll be okay. All right, let's go recruit. We'll get this set up.
<clears throat> Cars out of the backside. Andrew, brother, whoa, man. Thank you for another super chat. The wreck, yeah, any fun cur we, The curveballs haven't popped yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, man. Hey, amigo. But I'm hoping by episode two, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna, the pain train. So I know that's what you guys are all here for. Oh, hey. Sewing. What's going on, hun? She's got crap health. Hey. Gardening. I mean, she's the best out of all of them, honestly. Does she even have a gun, though? Nope. But does she not even have a melee weapon, lady? What do you got to offer, dude? Good to see you're still upright. We're gonna, we're gonna recruit her. Want to? I don't know. Ditch those guys. Join us. They're fine, chat. Uh, I, I won't be playing anything later on, guys. My son has a, an event that I'll be going to. And by the time I get home, it's going to be like 9 o'clock at night. So um, I won't really be able to do another stream today. Um, well, I've seen a lot of people asking if I was going to continue playing the, the Telltale Walking Dead. Yeah, of course, guys. Has a confession to make. I didn't expect to survive this long after the outbreak. To, to be honest, I was ready to give up and join my family on the other side. But when I hear about the work you survivors are doing, I think I might stick around a while. I, I passed on sewing only because uh, Army Gale, when I moved into this new base, I because I, I said that we're going to be doing that thing where I'm going to leave the game running, uh, I got to make sure I have enough food because as the game's running, I'm still going to be bleeding resources. So I want to make sure that I have enough food to facilitate me just letting the game run because um, if not, that's going to suck really bad. So I grab the gardener, I'll probably build a garden here. Um, maybe build like a rain collector. That way we can get water. I'm already using up my two outpost slots. I got the I got the plague disruptor in one, which we need, and then I got our, the other one is already a food outpost. And once I buy this base, I'm not going to have enough out, uh, influence to upgrade to a level two in any of them. So we just got to build a garden. I got extra materials, so it's probably the smartest thing for me to do. We couldn't make a new base here with some work. There we go. All right, so we're moved into the new base, guys. Um, so for this, we're going to have to do... Oh, my God, 75 parts, dude, and we're only going to get an hour and a half, too. This ain't, this ain't the answer, chat.
Okay, bigger base though. I, I we can't complain. We're in a town, tons of loot. Um, we're we're in a good spot, guys. We're in we're in a good spot. Let me check my so. All my resources are even, which is cool because that's what we need. Uh, food is the wow. I might have to kick somebody, chat. What's up, kid? Legit, we might have to kick somebody. I can't afford to upgrade food outpost right now. I know it's 800. Mac Bro, nobody gives a fuck about your brother right now, dude. We're trying to figure out food situation, dude. I got some chocolates. Um, I got some stuff here we could sell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check these trailers right here in front of the base. Might be able to get some more stuff we could sell. I got no extra nothing. I actually got rid of close to everything. Well, it's something. God, yeah, I wouldn't be worried about food. Guys. Like, food is not a big deal. The, the 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 reason why food's a big deal right now for me is because I'm going to have my game running for hours and hours and hours. To, especially if we have to pass, like, seven or eight in-game days. We're going to need food in order here. to um, facilitate that. If not, we're screwed. Um, and you got to think, like, if I have to pass all those days, that all that food is just going to go to waste uh, because that's, we're not actually going to be making any gains on the game itself. So that's why I'm sitting here like, yo, this is going to be this is going to be rough. Um, I might even have to tear down that other outpost. The the cell tower, I might have to tear this down. And get another food outpost. Just to make this even work. Waste of time here. I, I did sinister, but there's nothing I can do about the in and outs right now. Like I don't have the influence, you know what I mean? I, I don't have any anything to 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 set up to to allow the game to just run this early this early on. If we were a couple days in and I had everything established, like yeah, it'd be no problem. But um, I just don't have the I don't have the time or the the resources right now to actually facilitate that i'd have to we gotta I, I think once we build a garden we might be okay i'm actually we're gonna build a garden and then seed it yeah 61 of those so we're gonna build that garden we're gonna seed it and li yeah it, well you gotta remember this is i'm not playing the game so if i go out and i loot all the food rucks right if i go out and i loot food rucks and i build up let's say 20 food and then say while the game is is going and um eating away at that food i'm wasting food that i'm going to need later on in the game to just pass time in the game so like yeah i could go out right now and get 20 fucking food rucks but i don't want those food rucks to get eaten up by me just trying to pass time for the curveball system to go into play because then once we actually start playing the game and i need food for real i'm not going to have no food to go out and loot anymore because i just looted it all and used it to just pass time in the game you know what i mean so that that that's what i'm getting at. i don't want to waste my food on the map 
for just trying to pass time for the curveballs to go active. I want I want that food to play with once once the game starts because once the game actually starts and we're and we're going full bore, I'm gonna need every bit of resources I can get my hands on, especially if these curveballs are gonna be as bad as I think they are. Well, that that's the issue I'm having right now, Sinister. Is uh, I, I I I I need to leave the game running if we're ever gonna have a chance of playing the curveball update anytime soon, especially if it actually takes five to eight days in game to to run. I will be done with the series before those things even go live. You know what I mean? That's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be trying to build a garden. I got one building right now. Um, I'm gonna put the fertilizer in it, and then. Uh, and we'll put the fertilizer in it, and then we're going to do the uh, rain collector. That'll give me water. A farm would be super clutch, but... Good hustle, everyone. That's one more project complete. Oh, we might be okay. I can do a farm, yeah. too. I'm guessing there's a plague heart not too far away. Lowering the difficulty. I mean, I technically could lower the difficulty for the uh, while the game's just running. That way, it eats away at less food. That's not a, that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, the Sinister, that's actually a, a really good idea. Lowering the uh, lowering the, the difficulty until we're ready to actually play the game. That way the food consumption is really, really low. No, no, no! You could change. You could change your 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 consumption um, without without moving base. Um, let's That's see. One crazy looking I just want to. I just want to see. We might not have to, guys. Though we might. I I might be able to just let it run once these are installed. I'm actually gonna throw the 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 fertilizer here. We we might be good. I I should be able to zero this out. I think. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Yeah, I might I might be able to zero this out without doing anything because that's Yeah, I think we might be okay. Hold on, let me let me see. That way we guarantee Level uh, next episode because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want this series to fucking start. I want this series to start, so um, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure this happens. So we get water on. I do have a garden mod, yeah, but I want to use it on the farm because I think I'll get more from it. I got this fertilizer here, so if I put the fertilizer on the farm, which I think the farm nets more food, yeah, I'll, I'll gain more from having it on the on here than having it on here. So that's why we're waiting for this one to go live. We got water. Um, upgrade this, so, so give me more food, and we can seed it. Seeds will be good for an hour and a half. Let me see. So we got no other outs, right? Only the other sketch thing is just having my people stand here. We should choose a leader, don't you think? <laughs> while, the, while the game's running, dude. I'm gonna come back to a community wipe scream, dude. <laughs> Legit, chat. We're, we're, we're definitely coming back to a community wipe scream. <laughs> An hour and a half is one day, Army Gal, in the state of case. 45 minutes a day, 45 minutes a night. Yeah.
Yeah, it, I, I think we're going to lose materials, but I got tons of mats, so even a, a material loss is... I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm worried about these passive passing hordes. They'll get aggroed into the base. I've never left this game running before, so this is going to be interesting to see how this works. Thirty seconds on this. Once this is done, I'm gonna throw the mod on there. Cause right now my outs are still we're still losing five a day. I could kick one of the extra survivors, but I think we'll be good food-wise. Um, with this going to level two, this having the mod in it, um, I think we'll be all right. And then I'm, I'm and then I'm just gonna literally let the game sit here, guys. And then, um, however long it takes to get the curveball thing to pop up. And then next episode, boom, we'll we'll be able to jump in and play. Hopefully the curveballs don't pop up while I'm fucking gone. <laughs> oh, we're in a good job. Sorry, I gotta tell, dude. We're coming back to some bullshit. Alright. If not a community wipe, there's gonna be black play cards. It's gonna be terrible. I already know. I already know this is a bad idea. But hey, whatever. This is what we got to do in order to test it because we can't, we just, I'm, I'm not waiting, chat. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here in every stream, just hope that they pop. Like, you, you know what, Lady X? I can record it. I could, I, I can push record um, while, while I'm, uh, while I'm away. That way, if something does happen, I, I'll have the footage. Put a survivor on top of the trailer. At least I have one survivor. I don't know, man. I think I, if I got this community pulled down to one, I'd rather just restart, dude. Quality stuff to trade. Anybody interested? Make it a 24 hour. You guys want to sit here and watch a stream of my of this? This is this this is what the stream would look. Actually, it looked like this. You ready? That that's quality content right there, chat. That that, that that's quality content, dude. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what our what our outs look like. All right, we're down to two on that. Um. Once this kicks in, I think we're going to be down to one. I forgot how much I love this base, dude. This is a really good base. It really is.
It's got the sound booth with the train built in. It's got the freaking trailer park beds. So many small slots. Like, yeah, this is such a good base, man. I, re I really do like this one a lot. And then, so we still got a minute left on that farm. Let me see here. Oh, so much loot. I can't wait, dude. Wandering Trader is a food trader. We could technically go grab a bag just to... Just to kind of, like, ensure our success. This won't really count towards taking food off the map. So I think I might be okay with this. Yeah, I could sell some of this stuff to him. Yeah, food trader. Look, look, streamer like chat. It's like the game knows. The game will boot you for being idle. How? I've, I've, if I have, if it's single player, multi, I, I've never. Uh, How do, I mean, I guess I could auto walk like this. How, how the hell will I do this? I got a control over here. I think I can auto walk with. I didn't know the game boots you for being idle. Oh, where am I? Why did I come here? What the hell? Actually, I think I think he's right. Like no bullshit. I really do think the game kicks you out after a while. Cause I I literally I feel like I've come. I feel like they they put it. I feel like uh, Undead Labs built that for people who accidentally leave their game running. Hello. Cause I remember, I do remember coming to a screen. It gets the, it gets this grayed out fogginess like this, and it said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do think the game does kick you out. I don't know. Maybe it is an, an Xbox thing. Yeah, somebody might can Google that. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? But All I think right. I, I'm pretty sure that it actually does kick you. I gotta grab the stuff to sell. Doing this. I mean, I got a controller right here. We could, I, I, I could, I could jam it somewhere and auto walk into a wall. We'll just, we'll just walk endlessly into a wall. Want to make a trade? All right. Boom, boom, and boom. Food. I'll buy two food racks. Ah, uh, Mr. Carleone, what's going on? How you doing? Okay, so two bags of food, we're good. Have chat grab Rex while I'm gone. Hey, hey. Can, can chat, keep the game, keep keep the community alive for me while, while I'm gone, all right? As you guys can see, we're 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 easily day two, and there's there's no no curveballs popping still. So this is my this is the only idea I have, because uh, I I really want to try this on a fresh community. I don't want to use one of my other communities. I'm, I know a lot of the guys who are testing PTR right now. They're they're doing it with communities that already are. But I want I want a fresh. I want a fresh. So we're going to do what we got to do to make it happen. 
Come next episode, you guys are gonna have, it's gonna be all when all hell breaks loose, dude. But we prepped this up. We should be. Let's see. So we're up to 16 food. So technically, what's my outs right now? Baseline, no buffs. We're at one food a day. So my game could run for 16 hours before I ran out of food. But I'm going to do it one. We're going to go one step further and... That's 42 minutes, way too many. So we're gonna seed up, seed up, get those buffs going. And once those yields are boosted, seeds boosted by what, 50%? So we'll be at plus two food. I was out and about for a bit, yeah, so we'll, I brought back we'll be in good shape. Yeah, so we'll be good to go, guys. We'll be good to go in that in that sense. Um, and then once once we get back, I'll I'll probably rip down this garden, and then we'll we'll, we'll get the base built. The, 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 I, this is not going to be my normal base setup, guys. We got to get infirmary workshop, all that stuff built. This is just what I'm building right now to get us um, to the next episode. But yeah, we should be good with that. And then we yeah, when those two kick in, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to end this here, guys. I'm going to let the game literally run. Um, we got to find a, an area to run. Let me see. What about right here? Is this a good spot? No, wrong, wrong, wrong joystick. Yeah, that'll work. Now the game won't log out. Let me see. Can I position her? Yep. And we still lost two food. The game won't log out. And we'll be able to stay just like this. Forty-five minutes a day, forty-five minutes a night. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit, guys. So we're gonna literally leave the game running like this. Um and then when I get back tonight, I'm gonna check it. And then before I go to sleep again, I'll check it. And the second I see the curveballs pop, uh, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and uh, turn it off, and then we'll be good to go. So next episode, guys. I'm sorry for those of you guys. I know you guys want to see that that hardcore challenge. Um, until the devs change up their current system, it's just. It, it, this is what we got to do. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's just really, really frustrating. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end this here. We're gonna let the, this roll, and then um, hopefully the curveball system pops here soon, and then boom, we'll be able to pop in, and and next episode will be a banger. All right, hit the ground running. I'm a little worried, but. I can't leave the stream. No, I can't, I can't leave my stream. I'm not when I'm at my house. Not when I'm not home. You know what I mean? I, you never know. I, I don't like leaving like my because anything. You know, I, I. Not when I'm not home or not like monitoring it. I don't. I don't ever like to keep my live streams just going. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit record. I mean, I don't. This really isn't a great view, you know what I mean? I guess we could do it like that. We'll just record the... 
But, all right, but I love you guys. I really appreciate the support. Remember, if you guys are looking forward to the actual play test, which will hopefully start next episode, um, it's gonna it's gonna get bad. It's it's gonna get really really bad. I, I can I can feel it already. Um, but yeah, uh, you all have a great rest of your night. Uh, I won't be able to do another stream tonight. Like I said, it's way too late by the time I get back. Like I said, my son has an appointment or a performance at 7.30. By the time I get home, get settled in, get another stream going, it'll already be 9 o'clock at night. So my, my kid's got to go to bed and all that stuff. So, But starting um, next week, guys, I'd say Sunday, Monday, I should be moving back downstairs in the office. Bitch, what are you doing? See what I got to deal with, chat? And y'all want me to leave this going? I'm going I'm to I'm come back and she's going to be across the fucking map. Somehow. What the hell is going on here, chat? This ain't it. She be over at the Wilkerson farm, dude. Like... Like, literally, I, I, I wasn't touching none. She just started climbing, bro. She, she would have been up there, dude. Juggernaut been chasing. Dude, get out of here. Get out of here with this nonsense. This is such a bad idea. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had. 100%, dude. One hundred percent, the worst idea I think I probably could ever come up with. <laughs> there we go. She can't get out of here, right? Hey, hey. it's gonna work, chat. It's gonna work. All right, I love you guys. Uh, hopefully nothing happens, but if something does happen, we will have the video evidence because I'll, I'll, as soon as I end the stream, I'll, I'll, I'll hit record, let this go. Um, but I do appreciate you guys. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with some more stuff. Not exactly sure what we're playing. I got to cut because I expected to do two streams today, but we kind of started late because my, my, I didn't have internet for the first half of the day because the workers needed to undo the wires and all this other shit. So, um, but hopefully we're good guys, but you all have a great rest of your night. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.